Hey, it's always a wonderful thing when you can find your calling and make it your life's work. That's exactly what Connecticut Boxing Hall of Famer John Scully has done and more. There you go. All my first things in life are connected to boxing. Wizards John Scully has carved out quite a career in boxing, from Golden Gloves champion to professional boxer, winning 29 of his first 31 bouts before making the transition to trainer. As a boxer, when I was fighting pro, I was training amateurs at the same time. It's getting inspiring because, like, He's great, like the greatest. <laughs> All the while, he has chronicled his success through pictures. Like my father told me then, take pictures. If you don't, you'll wish you did. The 53-year-old Scully has thousands of them. And thanks to boxing, he's been around the world and met many famous folks from the entertainment industry and, of course, the greats from the wonderful world of boxing. Macho Camacho, Marlon Starlin. Milton McCrory. These were the guys who were on TV all the time that I was always watching. Including his friend and inspiration, Muhammad Ali. The second time I met Muhammad Ali, which was in uh, June of 1990 at the Capitol Fish House in Hartford. I walked in, he got up, we started shadow boxing. John, or Iceman as he is known, won the prestigious Burt Sugar Award because he's such a historian with a fantastic memory. It's kind of funny, like, like fighters will They'll actually text me or call me or message me, and they'll even ask me questions about their own career. You know, they'll say, uh, who was that guy I fought in Michigan in 1990? That is not always the case for his boxing brethren who have been through tough times. John, who has gotten so much from the game, is there to help. I use my resources, I use my connections to help raise money for these guys. Love it, don't you? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's my life. You know, it's everything. Go work, go work. Go work, go work. Quite a guy. Hi, uh, Charter Oak Boxing Academy. They have this on the big screen right now. Just this past year, due to COVID, John has lost training trips to Quebec City, China, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Russia, just to name a two, or a few rather, although he hopes to be able to go to Russia soon. Great guy, and uh, he's done a lot for boxing over the years. Joe, what we got in weather? All right, Bob, we got a lot going on. Big storm is forming.